County killed the purchase of a hotel for a shelter. Commissioners are debating whether to withhold the money the state gave the county to buy it. And this comes as there are questions, though, about whether Chair Tootie Smith violated open meeting laws last week when she reversed her vote on this very project. Now to our Brandon Thompson going beyond the headlines with the ever evolving situation in Clackamas County as you're staying on top of this story, Brandon. And there was never any notice sent out about that meeting last week. One legal expert tells me it's questionable whether it was an emergency at all. Meanwhile, Clackamas County is still buying beds in this hotel for people who are homeless. One commissioner says it's likely that another organization is going to step in, buy this property and turn it into a shelter anyway. Another confusing vote. Chair Smith. I motion passes. 3-2. Hearing no further business before this commission, we are adjourned. Did you vote, did you vote yes, Chair? Chair? It's 4-1. Did you vote yes or no, Chair? I voted, I voted, four one. Four, I voted no. I'm sorry, okay. Yeah. Voted no. This morning, Clackamas County commissioners voted to delay returning the money the state granted Clackamas County to buy a hotel to turn it into a transitional shelter for people who are homeless. If we don't own it, we can't control it, um, and, and we can't live up to the promises we made. Commissioner Paul Savas says he's heard of several groups interested in buying the hotel, turning it into something similar to a shelter, so he wants to use the state's money as leverage. Another potential buyer comes in and um, and possibly runs it in a way that is more Portland-like than might be what we were, you know, we were talking about more of a high barrier type of facility. Savas was sick last week when Chair Tootie Smith declared an emergency board meeting to change her original vote from February. That public meeting had no public notice. Commissioner Martha Schrader is one of several county officials to tell me she found out about the meeting 30 minutes before it happened. Smith told Coin6 last week the emergency was that paperwork was due the next day. You can't create an emergency by waiting to the last minute and then deciding you need to take some particular action. Smith said today her change of vote was because more people came forward opposing the purchase. Our partners at the Lake Oswego Review report Smith was facing a censor from the Clackamas County Republican Party after her vote supporting the project. Wilker says the fact that no notice of the meeting was posted, sent out to media or sent out to citizens is a violation of Oregon's open meeting laws. The public body has an obligation to try and inform the public and members of the media. Consequences are vague. In order for action to be taken, a media organization or citizens would have to file a lawsuit. If it's a true violation, the county or chair would have to pay a fine and legal fees. Enforcement is difficult uh, and there's no natural enforcer of the, of the law. So let's talk about the money here. Clackamas County is going to have to pay $150,000 to the owner of this property for backing out of the purchase. The Lake Oswego Review reports that the county has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of staff time around this purchase. And Clackamas County spends $4 million a year buying market rate hotel rooms for people who are homeless. The commissioners will make a decision on Tuesday of next week whether to delay withholding that money back from the state. Reporting live in Clackamas County, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.